Man, it was early in the morning when she woke up, cooked breakfast, made lunch, and grabbed herself a soda. Gassed up the Pontiac to ride to Oklahoma. Turned on her radio, she listened to Winona. Knew this day was coming, didn't mean much. It was a long ride home, and the summer seemed rough. Now it's all over. She headed back to school, kept in touch with all her friends. They ready to act a fool. Some plane, some train. She just automobile. Then for that long haul, 21 behind the wheel. All so real, though it sounds like a dream. Driving through Tennessee around a quarter past three. Getting kind of tired, high still wide. And saying I can make it since I made it last time. Alone on the road with the birds and the bees. Back to the sunrise, sky rolling through the trees. That's when her eyes closed, car swerved, and she woke up. Said it's about time to crack open a Coca Cola. Drunk half. For the bottle, she feeling energized. Ten minutes after that, her head dropped. She closed her eyes. Lucky ain't the word when the call kept straight. Station started changing because she hit another state. Switch woke up, but then all that she could see in slow motion was her driving head first into a tree. Tried to hit the brakes, but she ride in the ditch. Car spun around, hit a seat, and then flipped for an hour. After that, she was knocked out cold. Couldn't feel her crack ribs, broken legs, and broken nose. Early morning, car started driving on the road. Seen a Pontiac trunk up in a ditch up on the road. Cars messed up, both thinking they just abandoned it. After an accident, a tow truck driver ran into it. Little did they know while they driving down the street, she was in his car, trapped up in the driver's seat. And that's about the time that she woke up in the car, screaming loud enough that you could hear her from afar. Away from where she had, except she trapped up in his car. You wishing not to go to work, she wishing on the star. She spent about an hour just screaming and crying out, but this noise on the road was just really drowning her out. And now she can't take it, thinking somehow, some way, somebody gonna see this car and come and save my day. That's when she got impatient, started breaking it down. Your doubt help another time, and can you hear me now? Then right then she thought about her cell phone. Had it on a charger, knew that damn thing was on. You see, that spark brought a lot of hope to her heart, I suppose, till she realized it hit the dash and was broke on the floor. Then she started praying, God, I'm dying, I need a miracle, so Father, please have mercy on me. I did the best I could, followed your word to a T. Don't deserve to die by these trees, and why me? Cause her ribs really hurt when she breathed. Gotta breathe through her mouth, leg bleeding, cause part of the bone is still poking out. Had hope that somebody would help. Epiphany saying, girl, you should use it on yourself. Started fighting and yelling and had to use it on herself. Feeling truly all alone in this world and ain't no one else to save her. A stranger, mom and papa that raise her. A preacher, a player, just anybody to save her. The door pried open, man seen a predicament. Looked at her, took a person, drove off with a shit. And as evil as he is and as bad as that might sound, all she thinking is somebody then open my door now. Took a good while, a lot of pain, a lot of trying to get up out of the car, but now she's doing fine. But my friend, man, she really died up in the ditch, driving to school when she fell asleep up in the whip. So if you getting tired, pull over. I'd rather see you late than funerals or a coma. Yes, I'm on your side, I'm also up in your corner, but I don't want nobody else to die like a loner. You see, man, some things happen in a lifetime you never get over, you never ever let it go. Cause even though you know that's the way that it's gotta go, hope is holding on to the fact that you never know. Some things happen in my lifetime, I never got over, I never ever let it go. And even though I know that's the way that it's gotta go, hope is holding on to the fact that you never know.